Jake Paul will not be facing federal charges for an incident at an Arizona mall in May 2020. The YouTube star turned pro boxer had been the subject of a federal investigation after he was captured on video inside Scottsdale Fashion Square while the mall was being looted and vandalized, days after the death of George Floyd. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the District of Arizona told Access Hollywood in a statement, based upon the investigation and evidence available at this time, the United States Attorney's Office for the District of Arizona is not pursuing federal charges against Jake Paul for his conduct related to the events of May 30, 2020 in Scottsdale, Arizona. Paul has yet to publicly react to the news of the conclusion of the investigation, and Access Hollywood has reached out to the Internet Personalities team for comment. When news first broke of Paul's presence during the rioting last spring, he claimed that he had not actively participated, writing in part in a Twitter statement. To be absolutely clear, neither I nor anyone in our group was engaged in any looting or vandalism. He added, We filmed everything we saw in an effort to share our experience and bring more attention to the anger felt in every neighborhood we traveled through. We were strictly documenting, not engaging. Days later, the Scottsdale Police Department charged Paul with criminal trespass and unlawful assembly, both misdemeanors. Police said in a statement to NBC News at the time that they'd received, quote, hundreds of tips and videos identifying him as a participant in the riot. They added, Our investigation has revealed that Paul was present after the protest was declared as an unlawful assembly, and the rioters were ordered to leave the area by police. Paul also unlawfully entered and remained inside of the mall when it was closed. Then, in August, Paul's mansion was searched by the FBI in connection to their federal investigation into the incident. The Bureau's Phoenix office confirmed to NBC News at the time. That same day, Scottsdale police dismissed their charges against the 24-year-old to clear the way for the FBI's investigation and said in part that they were, quote, coordinating with the United States Attorney's Office for the District of Arizona and the FBI to ensure that justice is served. While Paul will now no longer be facing federal charges, it remains to be seen whether Scottsdale police will bring theirs back. They specified in their statement last summer that their department, quote, retains the option to refile charges depending on the outcome of the federal investigation.